hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we're back with a <laughs> Diamond Art Club sneak peek. Yes. So huge thank you to the folks over at Diamond Art Club for providing this for us today. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you for being here. So let's take a look and see what we got from Diamond Art Club, shall we? So we're going to go ahead and get out the knife of doom. And we're going to go ahead and cut into this. All right. We're going to slide this puppy out. We're going to yeet that box. Yeet. All right. So it looks like we have another Harry Potter on our hands. Are you guys ready? I don't think you guys are ready for this. Where are all my Ravenclaws? Oh, my gosh. It's the Ravenclaw crest. <laughs> so it is a full drill Ravenclaw crest. It is a 56 by 71. It is a square. And I'm sure it will have ABs. So let's go ahead and enough with that jibble jabber and get right on into this. So let's take a look. Now, I'm wondering if this one has a toolkit because I've noticed all my sneak peeks don't have toolkits. Not that it's a big problem because I don't need any more. I just like seeing the toolkit. So let's see. Yeet. So we're gonna we're gonna get this out of the box. Ooh, it does have a toolkit. It wasn't a toolkit that I was looking for. It was the schematic paper. So let's see what's in our toolkit. Now I like showing the toolkits now because they have cover minders and washi tape. Okay. <laughs> so it's a little bit different. So if you haven't seen a Diamond Art Club toolkit, you get baggies and you get some other stuff. You get a little container with two shape, heart shaped plates of wax. This one has a red squishy. We also have a drill tray and a stopper, which are speckled in gold. See that? See that? All right, all right. We have those infamous branded tweezers. I'm building up a collection, y'all. Building up a collection. We have a white pen. And then it looks like we have a couple of multi-placers. And our minder for this one is this sparkly blue heart. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, my goodness. And the cover minder goes on the cover sheet to hold it back while you're diamond painting, if you're new to diamond painting. So let's go ahead and shove all this stuff back in this little toolkit thing over here because y'all don't care about no toolkit. So let's see. I'm going to get all that stuff back in there. Yeet. All right. So let's get this out of the... Oh, it actually came right out of the box. Hold up. How, what size was this? 56 by, oh, 56 by 71. So it's not super duper huge, but it ain't small either. But don't worry. Big kids need love too. So there's our our drills. I'm not seeing my purple paper either. So this one did not come with a schematic. Yours may, but mine's did not, which is fine. It's fine. All right. So let's see here. So it's not super huge. Oh, there's my paper. I lied. Thank you, Diamond Hour Club. I appreciate it. I got to save those for Becky for this year. <laughs> so we're going to roll this backwards so we can take a look at this. Oh, my gosh. It's so teeny tiny, y'all. It's so teeny tiny. So this is, of course, a Harry Potter kit. If you are a Ravenclaw class, then this might be the kit for you. Are you ready to see this? We have all the information down here as usual at the bottom. Ravenclaw Crest, 56 by 71. It is a square for your, your framing size. You're going to need a 22 inch by 28 inch frame. And of course, it has the picture there. But we don't care about that. We want to see the kit. You ready? Bam. Oh my God. One, if you like color blocking, this might be the kit for you. Two, my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh God. Y'all, okay, here are drills. Look, listen, it only has eight colors. It only has eight colors. Oh my God, this makes me want to work on it so bad. <laughs> okay, let's open this up. Let's open this up. What are, holy crap. <laughs> What are our eight colors? So if you're someone who is new to diamond painting or squares, finding yourself a nice kit like this with a bunch of color blocking is the best way to practice. Also, before we go into the drills, let me explain gapping because some of y'all like to fast forward through me looking at the drills, which is fine, but then y'all miss all the stuff at the end. Anyways, so when you're working with Diamond Art Club squares on this poor glue canvas, you will see gapping as you're working on it. Please do not freak out, do not cuss out anybody around you or anything like that about the gapping you will see as you're working on this kit. Once the kit is 100% completed, 
let it sit in the air for a couple of days and you will notice that the glue on the canvas will actually shrink, which will of course in turn shrink the gaps in your canvas until they're pretty much invisible. Just make sure that your placement is on point and you straight. If you use a multi-placer, make sure that you're placing them correctly on the kit itself so that you're not having to worry about there being extra gapping because of user error. So that is my spiel about the gapping in the kit. I, I mentioned it in the uh, post review of Butt and I, but I realized probably should have said it in another video seeing as how not everybody watched that video because they wanted to be surprised and have the mystery not be, you know, unveiled to them. Either way. So yes, the glue will shrink. The gaps will shrink. So you don't have to worry about the gapping in the kits. Uh, it, it'll fix itself. So with that said, because with color blocking, you tend to see it often. Also, another little trick for you. If you are wanting to make sure that your drills look nice, since this is a lot of color blocking, if you're multi-placing, multi-place in the exact same direction throughout. So if you decide, decide to go uh, vertical, stay vertical. If you decide to go horizontal, stay horizontal, especially on this outer part, which is going to be a light color. If you stay the same direction, it makes the drills actually look perfect. If you go from horizontal to vertical, horizontal to vertical, horizontal to vertical, you will see your lines go like this. And since they're not a fish, you want to go in the same direction. Little, little tip from Miss Coffee for you. You're welcome. Anyway, eight colors. Let's go. 3810. We have three bags of those, so triplets on that. 823. Holy shnikes. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bags of 823. Again, please do not be fearful of the amount of bags of each color. You have to think there's only eight colors in this kit and you probably won't use them all. Diamond Art Club does provide you enough drills for if something happens to your drill, say you spill them, say your kid gets a hold of them, say like me or your dog eats them, you have an extra bag of drills. I've always had an extra bag left over, so you may or may not use all the drills. I've had to open these bags for like two drills. Like I'm not even joking you, so don't free fret over seeing this many bags of drills. We have 317, which has one bag. This poor pitiful bag, but look how sparkly those drills are. Good God, y'all trying to blind me and take my oxygen. I can't, I can't. 37.55, two of those, three of those. Eh, eh, A, B alert, yeah. So our A, B is gonna be 131, which is this like raw carrot looking color. So if you're new to diamond painting, you don't know what AB is, hold on to your hats because I'm about to explain it to you. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's an iridescent coating that is put onto your drills to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter. And when you lay them on, down on your kit, it will also reflect the light of the drills laying next to it and make them sparkle brighter as well because if one shines, we all shine. So number 131 is the AB of this kit. So let's keep going to see what else we have in here. So we have 3808. Well, oh, that's pitiful. 3809. Bloop. Y'all, again, don't freak out, okay? Don't freak, don't, you're freaking out. Don't freak out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Don't freak out. We have twelve bags of four fifteen. That is going to be your major color. That is going to be the background of your image. And if you do this in sections, you won't get a whole lot of color blocking unless you decide to do the outline first or the out the outer edge first and then go in towards the canvas. I feel like I need to start this. I f it's eight colors. <laughs> it's only it's only eight colors. <laughs> I can have this done in like a weekend. Come on. Diamond Art Club, y'all are killing me. I am trying not to start another canvas right now, but y'all are making me weak in the knees and in the lungs. <laughs> so it only has eight colors, y'all. And 99.9% .9 of this uh, is color blocking. Color blocking, color blocking. That Those ABs you see, I don't even have to look for them. Look, listen, your AB is going to be at the top of your legend there. You see that one bright color? That's going to be your AB. That's the sparkle for a round the crest itself, okay? Um, what I would actually do if I were to, say, enhance this, I would put some bling on the the wings back here. Um, maybe even something bloop, in the name, so where it says Ravenclaw, I would add, like, one or two. Not a lot. Just enough 
to be annoying, I guess. But I would add like one or two uh, ABs or something to the name. Or even if you want to change the whole name. Because the name is actually, that is number four. So that's 823. So if you were to get like rhinestones or ABs, I would do the entire name in ABs. Like that would be so cool. But Diamond Art Club did a really good job because this one has AB sprinkled literally throughout the kit because you're literally going around the outer edge of the crest to make it pop out so that these eight colors shine bright like a diamond. So, oh, and also we have ABs bloop, up here in the raven's eyes. So, if you're like me and you're a Ravenclaw, shout it out in the comments. Is it a have to have or a got a wish list? Let your girl know down in the comment section below. But Diamond Art Club killed it with this one because I was expecting something super massively huge and something that's going to take me the next rest of my life to finish. Nah, this is like, this is, this is like, it's, it's almost like a snack. And I say that only because it only has eight colors. Like you can't, it has eight colors, y'all. Come on. Eight colors, eight colors. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and put the drills back in the bag. There you go. And so that now concludes this video. So thank you so much for watching. I don't need to show you where the ABs are, literally. You can see where the ABs go. You see all that yellow? That's where the ABs go. So that AB is gonna be 131. Again, huge thank you to Diamond Art Club. I'm not even mad that it didn't come with like a little piece of schematic paper because that would have just been a waste of paper for eight symbols. Literally, your symbols are one, seven, Okay, y'all mad wrong for that. Y'all mad wrong. And then look at this. <laughs> we got one, seven, two, four, five. Really? <laughs> three, or I'm sorry, one, seven, two, four, five, eight, nine, three. Literally all numbers. So it's not even like crazy symbols or anything like that. Let's take a look at the symbol clarity because I know somebody's going to ask. Look at that. Boom. Golden. Golden. Now, you want a little bit of confetti? Again, those wings. Those wings. So, again, with that said, huge thank you to Diamond Art Club for providing this for us for a sneak peek. And huge thank you to you for watching. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, please leave those down in the comment section below. And we'll do our best, or I'll do my best, to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. But with that said, I've taken up enough of your time. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope to see you again real soon. But until then, wear your mask, wash your hands, don't touch your face out in public, keep your six feet, and always try. Be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys.